the humanoid robotics market is heating up. By all accounts, this is just the beginning. Humanoid robotics will be as common as cars are today. You gotta imagine what a car looks like a hundred years ago on the street. What a strange instrument going down the street by itself without a horse in front of it. And so I think a hundred years from now, it's very clear. We'll have human robots everywhere. It will likely be the largest volume mechanical system the world makes. Governments, major corporations, and investors are pouring funding into a growing array of robotic startups. Humanoid robots are starting to enter the workforce as confidence in their potential growth. As China races to mass-produce humanoids, roboticists are making huge breakthroughs that used to be confined to science fiction. The market is so dynamic, it's nearly impossible for anyone to keep up. The following are just some notable recent humanoid robot developments. Remember to leave suggestions for humanoid robots to cover in future roundups in the comments. It, it actually gets way crazier uh, when you think about the, our, the Optimus uh, robot, which is really a humanoid robot that is intended to, um, you know, be able to do anything you want it to do. Your, you know, your companion, it, it can be at your house, it can sort of uh, babysit your kids, it can teach them, a uh, great teacher, um, it, it, you know, it can do factory stuff. Tesla has deployed two Optimus humanoid robots to perform tasks in its factory. The automaker casually announced the news about the AI-driven robots on Elon Musk's X platform in a post chronicling its notable achievements in history. According to Tesla, the Optimus design has undergone three major revisions in the past two years. Its hand design has been revised four times. Optimus was announced in 2021 during a Tesla Artificial Intelligence Day event. The humanoid robot is engineered to handle dangerous, repetitive, or boring tasks and to coexist safely alongside humans in daily life. Elon Musk claims Tesla's Optimus humanoid robot could boost its value to $25 trillion. I think, I think everyone in the world is going to want one. Tesla would basically make about a trillion dollars of profit a year from that. So, yeah. That's what he said during the 2024 Tesla shareholder meeting. He didn't specify when Tesla could meet that market cap, and the prediction was met with skepticism. Musk confirmed Tesla plans to start selling the robots in 2025. On his X platform, he said they'll be offered as rentals before they're available for sale. This humanoid robot, named Figure 01, is shown here working at the BMW factory in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The AI robot was developed by Figure, which describes itself as a first-of-its-kind AI robotics company bringing a general-purpose humanoid to life. The figure 01 is 5 feet 6 inches and weighs 130 pounds. It can lift up to 45 pounds. It's designed to automate difficult and unsafe industrial tasks. Figure released the footage as an update to its partnership announcement with the German automaker earlier this year. A humanoid robot named Apollo is being deployed in warehouses for one of the world's largest logistics companies as a proof of concept for wider use. GXO Logistics is teaming up with Apptronic to test using the robot to work alongside humans lifting heavy boxes and crates. The Apollo humanoid robot stands 5 foot 8 and weighs 160 pounds. It can lift up to 55 pounds and is intended for tasks like moving boxes, totes, and crates within warehouses. GXO Logistics operates 869 warehouses across 27 countries, employing nearly 100,000 people. China is now working on next-generation robots. Why do we say that? Well, because the Chinese company is developing hyper-realistic robots that can replicate emotions. Look at this. As the robotic company's worker moves her head, smiles and sticks out her tongue, a humanoid robot is mimicking her every move. Chinese scientists say they've created a robot with a brain made from human stem cells. It's a step toward human hybrid robotics. The brain-on-chip technology, developed by researchers at Tianjin University, enables the artificial brain to learn tasks like gripping objects. According to the South China Morning Post, the team used neural stem cells to construct the brain for the humanoid robot. 
The researchers said integrating human stem cells into robotic minds can empower machines to perform more complex tasks like living organisms. This smiling 3D face model is made with living human cells. Scientists from the University of Tokyo and Harvard 3D printed tiny anchor holes inspired by human skin to attach the living tissue to the robot. The design helps the skin stick better and keeps it from over-shrinking. The technique could make way for humanoid robots with lifelike, self-healing skin. The findings were reported in the journal Cell Reports Physical Science. This is Xbot L, the first humanoid robot to climb the Great Wall of China. Robot Era just announced the achievement with a video showcasing the humanoid robot's advanced mobility and problem-solving skills. Climbing sections of the Great Wall, the robot handled uneven terrain, winding stairs, and dark archways. Possible applications for the robot are in construction and disaster relief. Robot Era, also known as Beijing Qingdong Era Technology, develops and commercializes humanoid robots and embedded intelligence technologies. You know, any, anybody who thinks that the whole idea of building AGI and robots is like science fiction future should come spend a couple of weeks here and just see how quickly things change. Sanctuary AI has secured another round of funding from Canadian investors to bring artificial general intelligence into the physical world. The Vancouver-based company announced new investments from BDC Capital's Thrive Venture Fund and NBC Investment Corp bringing the startup's total funding to more than 140 million. Sanctuary says Generation 7 of its Phoenix robots have improved human-like movements, visual perception, and tactile sensing, allowing them to perform complex tasks for longer periods. The speed of automating new tasks has accelerated 50-fold. The Human Plus robot can learn to box by shadowing and mimicking fast, complex human motions. The humanoid robot, developed at the Stanford University Artificial Intelligence Lab, can also play table tennis and fold laundry by copying human actions observed with cameras and sensors. It requires 40 hours of human motion data for training. Just under six feet tall, the Human Plus robot is equipped with two RGB cameras and has 33 degrees of freedom. It's powered by motors that generate up to 360 Newton meters of torque. Its battery life lasts about two hours. In a new research paper, the Human Plus team said they plan to improve the robot's abilities and fix issues with its movement and pose estimation. This humanoid robot, designed to mimic the human musculoskeletal system, is able to autonomously operate a vehicle. The robot named Musashi can sit in a car seat, press pedals, and turn the steering wheel accurately just like a real human. The humanoid robot was put to the test as part of the Department of Meccano Informatics at the Graduate School of Information Science and Technology in Japan's study seeking to improve robotics for future transportation applications. While Musashi could perform driving tasks well, the researchers said there are still improvements needed for diverse driving conditions. A startup funded by OpenAI and NVIDIA just announced its humanoid robot Eve can multitask on its own thanks to advanced artificial intelligence. In a blog post, One X Technology said it's developed an advanced AI system enabling Eve robots to perform multiple autonomous tasks sequentially using voice commands. The advancement enables multi-robot collaboration without teleoperation. Founded in 2014, OneX focuses on developing AI robotics to work alongside humans. They develop in OneX's facilities in San Francisco and Norway. With funding from the European Commission, researchers are using artificial intelligence to develop free-thinking industrial robots. The RoboSapiens EU project has secured a 7.5 million euros grant from Horizon Europe, the Commission's research and innovation funding program. The European RoboSapiens are not related to the popular 2000s toy robot created by Huawei. Sapien now. RoboSapien is the first humanoid robot with 67 functions and four programs. The project kicked off in January and is funded through December 2026. Aarhus University in Denmark is leading and coordinating the project. Professor Peter Gorm Larsen, the project's coordinator, said in a news release, we see great benefits if robots can adapt to conditions learn from their surroundings, and then change their behavior. He said the project's aims to unlock the ability for robots to gradually improve on their own.
Researchers want to demonstrate that safety can be achieved without recertifications, and that industrial robots can adapt appropriately with intelligent safety systems and control software. Larson is a vice head at Aarhus University's Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering and an expert in complex cyber physical systems. Mikkel Labori Olsen, a consultant who's participating on the behalf of the Danish Technological Institute, said the project aligns with Europe's circular economy initiatives. Manufacturers have used robots to boost productivity for a long time, he explained, and now they're evolving to help recycle, upgrade, and extend the life of products rather than just making new ones. For a deep dive on the past, present, and distant future of humanoid robotics, check the link in the description below. Remember to suggest humanoid robots and related technologies in the comments for a follow-up.